Dashing the hopes and dreams of eight of the nominees for Outstanding Supporting Actor and Actress in a Drama Series. First up, the men, and the nominees are... For Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama Series, Bradford Anderson as Damien Spinelli, General Hospital. I am furious with you two, and I'm not... I'm not quite sure which emotion will win out. Okay, well, what does that mean? That means maybe... Maybe I don't collect my things tonight. Steve Burton as Dylan McAvoy, the young and the restless. What are the odds that your ex and our son have the same genetic disorder? I, I think you'd have to ask a doctor. It's probably a million to one. Is that why Adam was here? He was thinking the same thing? Scott Clifton as Liam Spencer, the bold and the beautiful. Angry! How could you do this to me? You have no right to do, do this to what? me. Do what? I rode my motorcycle. You so made what? me a father. And you took it away. And now he's dead. That's on you. Eric Martsoff as Brady Black, Days of Our Lives. You got no right to tell me how to live my life, not the way you are running around town, treating Jennifer like crap and bouncing beds with some cheap little slut okay, dame. Brady, okay. Okay. you know what? That's enough. We're only trying to help you. You, you shut your sanctimonious mouth, okay? You shut it up. You definitely have no right to tell me how to live my life. Dominic Zampronia as Dante Falconeri, General Hospital. Oh, man, I've never hated silence so much in my life as I do right now. I like to just hear her cry. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, man, there's this like, emptiness right here. And... The Emmy goes to Eric Martsoff as Brady Black, Days of Our Lives. My, my wife said, write a speech, write a speech. I'm like, baby, I don't need to write a speech. She's like, write a speech, I don't need... It's got to be hard being right all the time, baby. You are right all the time. Ah, uh, days of our lives. Uh, it's been tremendously good to me that this past year has been like Christmas for me. I was given this beautiful, tragic storyline to portray and, and given uh, my, my co-star at the time was some girl named Eileen. Uh, you may know her, Davidson, I don't know. She's really tall. She's... she's very pretty. And, and she's a veteran that doesn't act like a veteran. I love you for that. Where are you? She, she, she brought out the best of me. Thank you. You really did. You really helped me step my game up. And I'm, I'm holding this trophy. And I, I want to attribute that, some of that to you. I really do. Um, that table right there, you, you stud muffins, you, Ken Corday, Bruce, Joseph. I mean, you're, all, you're, all, you're, you're legends. And you, you've created a legendary show. And my affiliation with it. I'm very humbled by it uh, every day. I don't take it for granted at all. And thank you for taking a boy from passions and bringing him on to your show. That was brave. And I appreciate it. Um, thank you to my, my agent, uh, Ellis Talent Group, Marshak and Zachary for your guidance. You, you folks are beautiful. Uh, my mom and my dad, they had the guts. And I understand this as a father now. It's not easy to tell your kid to go out and pursue your dream. It would have been much easier for me to be a lawyer, but screw that. I, I'm having a pretty good time. Um, and lastly, uh, my, my little circle at home, uh, Chase and Mason, I hope you are watching me on your iPads, but I know you're not. I know you're playing Minecraft, and that's cool, but we're going to watch this when I come home, because this is important. Oh. And uh, there's a little vision of white sitting right there. That's, that's my rock. That's my girl. Thank you. I love you more than I can, I can say. You've been with me from the beginning, and you taught me that the grass is not greenest over there. It's greenest where you water it. 
and I'm, I'm, I'm going to water it for you as long as I can. I love you. Soap community, thank you. The resurgence of soap operas. Here's to it. And now we turn to the ladies. Uh, but before we do, you know, I, was, I, I never noticed this before, uh, just now, that the Daytime Emmy Award is actually a few inches smaller than the Primetime Emmy statue. But, yeah, but for the lucky lady that ends up taking it home, trust me, sometimes a smaller statue fits more comfortably on your mantle. I want you to know that. All right, uh, uh, outstanding supporting actresses in a drama series, and the nominees are... For Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series, Melissa Claire Egan as Chelsea Newman, The Young and the Restless. Even before he was born, every day, every day you fell more and more in love with him and the idea of being a dad. And I could see that bringing a life into the world was healing for you because of all the loss you've had. I couldn't take that away so from you. So you say you did this for me? I did it for the three of us. Jane Elliott as Tracy Quartermain, General Hospital. I see how it all works out for you. You get to make Scott Baldwin wrong. Yippee! You get to travel the world. And nobody ever says you're alone or you're doddering because you've got me waiting for you. Amelia Heinley as Victoria Newman, The Young and the Restless. It's just like some, some movie with a horrible ending that I just can't. Make it stop. Elizabeth Hendrickson as Chloe Fisher, the young and the restless. And if it's true, if it's true, that's the last time that I'm going to see her. That's the last time that I'm going to see her smile and hear her laugh and pout. Kelly Sullivan as Connie Falconeri, General Hospital. Yeah, another chance to get back to Kate. Whether huh? Kate comes back or not. She's not coming back! Kate's not here right now. You are, right? You're the one who lost Trey. You're the one who needs help. And the Emmy goes to Amelia Heinley as Victoria Newman, The Young and the Restless, on CBS. cliche. I didn't expect this, but I really didn't. Um, wow. Thank you so much. I did not prepare a speech at all. <laughs> thank you. I love you too. I'm going to thank my bosses first. Um, Steve Kent, Jill Farron Phillips, Angelica McDaniels. Um, I love my job on Wine Arts. It's, I love being a part of this family for so long. It's been nine and a half years. And um, uh, I would like to thank my manager, Michael Bruno. Uh, I promised I would thank him. He's my friend. I love him. Um, I'd like to send a special thank you out there to um, Ed Scott and Marnie Saida, who nine and a half years ago kept me in the room. I wanted to run out. I was terrified of taking on this role because Heather. <laughs> um, but it's been the most fulfilling thing of my life. And... Uh, I'd really like to thank my husband, Thad, and my children who are at home. Thank you, guys. Billy Miller, thank you. Thank you so much. This is partly due to you, um, because you inspire me. And um, last but not least, I'd like to thank my sister, Jane. I'm going to dedicate this to her. She's fighting extremely hard against cancer, and I just wanted to give this to her tonight because I love her so much. And she... I can't believe <laughs> She reminds me every day of what really matters, because sometimes I forget, and she reminds me. 
thank you to the fans too. Thank you. Yeah.